you may be living someone else's life and someone may be living yours. Ecclesiastes 10, seven states, I've seen slaves on horseback while princes go on foot like slaves. Understand in this world that there are people um, that are called star hunters that go around, right? Like you have your own glory, your own star and glory that you are given with at birth, your own appointed destiny and life. Um, in fact, first Corinthians 15, 41 says there is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for stars differ from star in glory. So each one has their own individual type of glory, right? I have mine, you have yours. Now, some of you know that you are living someone else's life. You know that something is wrong. You are supposed to be teaching, but you're sitting in the class. You're supposed to be preaching, but you're sitting in the pews. It's you who's supposed to be out um, driving, but you're always in the back seat. What's wrong? Well, in the spiritual realm, there are many that can see, right? And take things from you. Um, there's different ways for you to lose your star or have your star diminished. Um, number one would be through parents making a type of deal. Um, parents can go to different people, sangomas, obia, people, whatever, um, um, you know, people who are in Tantaria, etc., and um, sell off their child's star as an arrangement so they may get something, right? Or take it and pass it to another sibling and things like that. These are spiritual transactions. They um, differ from physical transactions, which can be seen and easily proven. These are spiritual transactions. Um, and I've been in this state before myself. So I'm going to help and we're going to pray here towards the end. But um, there are these type of things. And another one is you may have been into things like maybe tarot cards or um, letting someone else see the thing is when you play with like tarot cards or you let a medium read you right what happens is this person can see through a spirit of divination um, they can see things about your life you have to understand that if they can see things about your life while they're reading that palm they can also pluck take this good thing from you right so maybe they didn't tell you about that marriage that you were supposed to happen that was supposed to happen for you yet you feel like you should be there right now at this point in your life you should be there but something went wrong um, people can t if they can see it, they can take it. Understand that the two uh, um, are not separate. If I can see something, I can grab it and I can take it. Well, many people can see things inside of you and will snatch it uh, for their own betterment. Uh, cultic pastors will do the same thing. Um, you'll go to their church. You have to have the Holy Spirit. It's very important because you'll go to these people's churches. They'll lay hands on you and take things from you. You don't ever just let anyone random person just come up and start put their hand on your head and babbling anything and taking things from you. You don't let that happen um, because you don't know who these people are. There's a lot of pastors, right, who do things like go to Nigeria for training, get initiated into different societies and then come back and run their church. When they come back, they'll have certain abilities they didn't have before. They were never able to prophesy. Now they can. Now they can know things about you that no one else has ever known, etc. But, you know, the Lord can give those gifts, but so can the devil. So be very, very careful because the devil is a counterfeit and out there um the laying on of hands is not a bad thing but it can be if you are not careful there are those who go out and make these transactions um commonly they traffic in souls if you will um or in people's lives so be careful you may commonly find yourself in accidents or almost seem like you have what the world will call bad luck like bad things will constantly be happening to you such as um constant car accidents um where you know you didn't die but this got banged up um you're always losing something you're always losing uh, um your items and things that you own etc um these are common star uh signs that your star may have been stolen or dim there are some who don't like you that can do different things and um dim your star this is why it's very important to have the lord uh full in your life and to be on fire for god so these things can't touch you but anyway we're gonna go ahead and pray if you are not in Christ and don't know Jesus, please check out my salvation video. This is not a type of prayer you want to just go and do, not be under the blood. It can make your life worse if you are not uh, um, a Christian or in, in Christ. Um, just letting that out there because as these demons come out, um, you know, if you're, or if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, which only believers are filled with the Holy Spirit, then it'll come, these devils will come back seven times worse. So um, anyway, 
If you are in agreement and ready to pray, then we'll pray. Let's get that star back. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come in prayer uh, for my dear brother or sister watching right now. Reach your hands towards the screen for me. Uh, that shows that we are in agreement according to the word of God. When uh, two or more touch and agree on earth, it shall be granted unto them by the Father. So right now, we know he will grant these things in Jesus' name. I come in prayer for my dear brother or sister right now, praying that they get their star back. Whomever or whatever stole their star or dampened their glory in the name of Jesus Christ, give it back right now by fire and by force in Jesus name. Word of God says that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light of the Lord shall shine upon it. Therefore, repeat after me as we decree this right now. You, my star. In the camp of my enemies. Come back to me now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And according to Matthew 18, 18, it states that whatsoever you loose in heaven is loose on earth. So therefore, I loosen, raise your hand up, get ready to catch in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose your star back unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose your destiny back unto you. I loose your children that have been stolen from you in the name of Jesus back unto you. All things that you were supposed to receive, receive them, 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 receive them in Jesus name. Receive them every stolen opportunity come back in jesus name every business that you put out there that someone else that you ended up seeing someone else create but you thought of first in the name of jesus christ be it loose back unto you all the housing that have been taken from you are loose it back unto you time destiny your husband your wife all the things that were supposed to be yours in the name of jesus christ i loose them back unto you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah what your word says about my dear brother or sister that your angels watch over them so they don't dash their foot against a stone heavenly father due to their star that you have given unto them being gone uh, they have dashed their foot many many times so i ask that angelic forces go out in the mighty name of jesus christ and retrieve what has been stolen from them in the name of jesus let us pray receive what was taken receive what was taken receive what is yours receive it receive it receive it in the mighty name of jesus christ i bind all thieves that have come into your life in the mighty name of jesus christ all witchcraft thieves from the spirit of witchcraft or from diviners in your life or from false pastors in your life false men of god false women of god in your lives in the mighty name of jesus christ anyone who laid hands on you as a child anyone or evil doctor in the birthing room as they hang in there too in a birthing room, either doctors or nurses in these places in Jesus name who laid hands on you and took something from you because they saw greatness in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I give it back to you. Receive it in Jesus name. Receive everything that is yours that's been taken. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. And you'll say, I receive it. I receive it. So say, so receive it. Receive what is yours. Receive what is yours. I give it back. Hallelujah. 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 According to Luke 10 and 19, which states that he has given us authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions and all power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us therefore i have that power to give that unto you in the name of jesus christ so receive it hallelujah i loose a fiery hedge of protection to be around you your star glory and life in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and i declare that everything that is yours shall remain yours hallelujah and everything that has been stolen from you is now on this process of returning swiftly and speedily in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah for the promises of the lord are yes and amen knowing that he says yes to what we ask in the mighty name of jesus christ he said also in his word that until now you have asked nothing in my name but ask now so that your joy may be full so may your joy be full in the name of jesus Jesus Christ and everything that we ask in Jesus name. He also said in his word that he looks over his word to perform it and it shall not return unto him void. Therefore, the words that uh, I have spoken from scripture, hallelujah, are coming to pass. That means everything that we declare, such as your star coming back unto you, are coming to pass right now because he is not a man that he should lie as is written in the word of God. Hallelujah. So receive what is yours. Receive what is yours in Jesus name. And we say amen, knowing that it is done. Hallelujah. So you know, a little background um, about myself. Um, I remember at one point in life, my wife and I were homeless and we were sitting on a, um, we were outside sitting on a bench. Um, this was in uh, Atlanta at that point in time in our lives. And uh, when we lived out there and it was like we were street furniture. 
people walked by us, but we it was like they couldn't see us, you know. Um, and I said, hey, something is wrong. We knew something wasn't right, that the enemy was up to big things. We had already been attacked, mind you, in life. This is really truncating the story, make it very short, rather um, shortening the story. But, you know, we knew something wasn't right. And what it was, was the enemy. And um, a lot of uh, things that were ours, you know, we're starting to receive back now, but it took lots of lots of prayer, you know, keep doing these things. Be creative with the declarations um, that you say. So you can say, because the word of God says that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you and the light of the Lord shall shine upon it. So what you say will come to pass. So if you say, hey, my star in the camp of the enemy or my star, which has been stolen by evil doctors, evil, evil pastors, evil, whatever, or my star that has been taken from me in the name of Jesus Christ, return unto me now in the name of Jesus Christ. It will happen. I'm living proof. It is. It happens. You know, um, I don't talk too much about my own personal life, but I'll say that um, we are far from in that position where we were before. For God is good. And there's even more to come, you know, for for you, you know, Um so uh, just trust in God and keep fighting. You've got to keep fighting. It's a fight. God bless you.